What if you can get the perfect framing every time you take your shot? Or what if you can add yourself in a virtual environment and seamlessly blend with everything else? Let's say you finish the almighty blender guru's donut like everyone else and you know how to model chair, car, or furniture or anything in blender. So what's gonna be the next thing? Are you gonna let it sit in the corner doing nothing? This is Luke Hyang Tae from Realty X Lite. And in this free course, I'll share my detailed workflow of Hawaii Blend CG environment with real life footage. Uh, we're gonna recreate this scene um, entirely from scratch. So after you've completed this course, then you will be ready to get results something like this. So let me have a quick introduction on what we're gonna learn in this course. There will be eight parts, starting with number one, modeling. This is gonna be a beginner level, so if you're already familiar with Blender interface and know how to model some basic stuff, then you're good to skip this phase. And number two is texturing. After we're done with modeling the basics objects, then we'll give them a texture and make it look realistic. Uh, we're gonna use EV to preview everything uh, in this stage, uh, which will make it faster than cycles, but the final render will be cycles. And lighting. This is one of the most important parts in this course because if you're bad in this stage, then your CG is gonna pay the price. It can look like this or like this. And number four is preparing for the shot. And after we're done with everything that has to do with CG, uh, now we have to know how light will react on our character. So we're gonna add some and, and render different angles for the next step. And number five is shooting. Um, we're gonna use the previous render as reference, then we're gonna start from there. Number six is keying. Uh, we're gonna use After Effects to key out some green screen. Even if you've never used After Effects before, please don't worry about it, because we're not gonna do something crazy here. Number seven is rendering. Now, uh, we're gonna import the key out footage from After Effects to cast some shadow and leave some reflection in our environment. Uh, we'll also render all different passes for later compositing in Nuke. And number 8 is compositing. Um, now it's time to take all the render paths and then import a 3D file from Blender to Nuke and did some compositing. And also the project file will be available for every part so if you skip some of them then you will be able to start fresh from there as well. And that's it for this video and please subscribe to this channel and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.